This week we are reviewing gadgets under $300, so what do we have up today? Looking at the Flip Minnow HD camcorder. You're very familiar with these guys. I have like five different kinds yeah. of uh, cameras like This that. is the world's smallest high-definition camera. Shoots in glorious 720p widescreen. If you're tired of sacrificing pixels for a camcorder that fits in your pocket, then let us introduce you to the Flip Minnow HD. Promising to make your impromptu videos crystal clear, the 3 ounce Minnow HD shoots in 720p and has 4 gigs of storage for up to 60 minutes of video. Get your hands on the world's smallest HD camcorder for 220 bucks. All right, everyone wants HD, even from pocket camcorders. Yeah. I actually have this. I got it at the Spike Ferrison show. They gave it to me as a gift. Thanks, Spike. Um, I got one at you. Um, oh. So uh, I've been using it. How do you? What do you think about the Minnow? Um, it's well, again, it's the smallest HD camcorder available. It's so the, for it's that the next alone, of the flip. it's pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah. This is the upgrade here. It's less than four inches long, weighs only 3.3 ounces. Uh, the screen on the back is pretty small, 1.5 inches, which is fine for yeah. shooting, but viewing, it's not going to look glorious. Well, the even. original flip has a small screen, and I was kind of disappointed when I opened that. I thought it, they would at least upgrade that. Yeah, no, same size. But again, if, if it were sacrificing screen real estate for the size of the device, then I'm all for it because the videos are going to look good when you watch them back mm -hmm. on your computer. Um, all the controls on this guy are flush with the body of the camera, so it doesn't feel bulky in your pockets. You don't have buttons pressing into your thighs. Uh, and if you don't like the look of the camera, you can actually customize it on Flip's website. Or I guess you could just spray paint it. Either way, <laughs> you customize it. Okay, it does look sleek, um, and it, it is small. Uh, but how do you, what do you think about the, the video quality mm -hmm. compared? Like, I was actually using the Vado until I lost it. It's a pink Vado somewhere around here. Anybody see it? Let me know. Um, it's lost. So I've been, using, I've been using this. So what do you think in comparison? It looks good. I mean, shoots up to 60 minutes in 720p. Um, the colors seem to stand out fairly well, though. Again, most of these camcorders have problems in low light. They so. need one with a, with a light on it. With yeah, light uh, but then you got, you got trade-offs with battery and size and all this other stuff. So it's I agree. Perfect. I'd love to have one with a light for those situations where, where you want it. But uh, nevertheless, low light, not so much. You can't change the contrast or the sharpness, which might bother some video files out there. But if you're a video file, you don't why are you this. using yeah, a, a, a camcorder that fits in your pocket? Uh, 2X digital zoom is smooth, but, but terrible. I mean, well, it I mean, looks... That's the thing. It's like on the Vado, I could zoom in a lot more. And on this one, I was like at my brother's graduation trying to get yeah. in. And just, no, it doesn't don't use the zoom, it's not going to work well. It's only digital. It's going to be like looking at your memories through like cheesecloth. It's and not going to look is, good. The thing is, the old flip had the small screen and it was hard to zoom, so it's like, you know, yeah. it's sleeker and HD. But. Uh, the major downside is that you'll need a, a steady hand for your videos to look really impressive. Mm -hmm. There is still no image stabilization on this guy and it sorely needs it. I mean, come on, they can do it with software, just make it happen. Okay, well, speaking of software, it yeah. does come with this built in software. Do you find it useful at all? Yeah, I mean, again, this camera is not for filmmakers. This is for, you know, pocket point yeah. shooters who yeah. just want to capture a moment. So the Loggers. software is structured accordingly. Well, even, even, no, even you, I think you're, you're used to like your iMovie or your final yeah, cuts. Yeah, I edit everything. Yeah, this is not, this is not going to deliver it. They've kept it simple, but it does have some functionality. You just drag and drop your clips over. You can set in and out points to edit simple videos. You can add music. You can take snapshots. Again, it's not final cut. It's not iMovie, but it does serve its purpose for your, for your mom or grandma. This is yeah. fine. Well, okay, so I have a lot of them. Um, I really have the Kodak one. I have the Vado mm -hmm. one. I have two flips. Um, so is it the pocket camera to buy for the holiday season? Absolutely. I think okay. for, for, a, for a pocket camcorder that's only $220, the video quality is super impressive. Software, again, it's easy to use. It's functional. So if you have an eye for shooting uh, or if you're a videographer, this isn't for you, but no pocket camera is, so stop whining. <laughs> All right, so what's the final rating? Uh, final rating, we're 91%. That's good. That's an A. Okay. So if your parents have been bugging you about HD, then this is the pocket camcorder for them. But just be ready to have your email inbox filled with poorly cut holiday videos set to jingle bells, because it will happen. <laughs> All right, that's it for today's Gadgetron. But if you want more tech, make sure to tune in this January to G4's coverage of CES 09 Live, where you'll be the first to see the gadgets of the future. G4 brings you TV's most extensive coverage of this year's innovative gadgets and gear live from the motherboard of all tech shows, CES 09 Live. That's January 8th and 9th, presented by Acura Advance. Just go to G4TV.com slash CES for updates.